This test will be looking for the Thomas's sign. Here you're looking for hip flexor tightness or contracture of the opposite leg that you're testing. What I mean by that is I'll be flexing the patient's left leg while looking for hip flexor tightness or contracture on the patient's right hip. To carry out this test, you'll have the patient's supine and you'll flex the patient's hip of their unaffected leg and you'll be looking to see if the affected leg lifts off the table as you flex their leg. Let's do that again. Here I'm flexing the patient's unaffected hip and his affected side flexes along with me. This is because his hip flexor muscles located in this region are tight or contracted. When the patient does do this and they show this positive Thomas's sign, you'll want to note this angle of flexion here and include that in your differential.